Big surprises in a gruesome murder trial. First, a very emotional opening witness, and now the defendant, Edward Covington, is representing himself. News Channel East Jeff Patterson has been in the Hillsborough County courtroom all day. Tell us what you know, Jeff. Good evening, Gail. Strange day here at the Hillsborough County Courthouse. First, Edward Covington fired his defense team. Then he told the judge that he is guilty and that he expects the death penalty. I see Zachary out on the ground. Yes, ma'am. And he had no clothes on. Then he was gone. Tearful testimony from Barbara Freiberg was just starting. The jury then heard the emotional 911 call as Barbara first reported the bloody scene where she and her husband found their grandson, granddaughter, and daughter all murdered. It all came to a halt. Edward Covington was becoming increasingly agitated. He then said obscenities in court and told his attorneys he was done. After a break, Covington told the judge he wanted to fire his defense team and change his plea to guilty. It's the right thing to do, sir. I'm sorry? My pleading guilty is the right thing to do. I don't need to talk to anybody else. That's the only thing to do. Judge William Fuente told Covington firing his lawyers is the wrong thing to do and would not give him any break in his sentence. Covington told the judge he expects the death penalty. In all honesty, I expect that. I, I would not think the state would do its job if it didn't. Attorney Brian Camerino is not involved in the case, but believes the judge is legally obligated to take Covington's guilty plea. The Supreme Court has said that he does have the right to represent himself. So that's the, the main problem. So ultimately, the judge is going to have to grant his, his desire, his wish. Yeah, Judge Fuente was trying to find mental health experts to examine Covington tonight so they can make sure that he is competent to go forward. Depending on how that goes, he's expected to formally enter a plea of guilty here in the courthouse tomorrow morning. Back to you guys. Well, certainly that may be more revealing about what his state of mind is, but let's talk about what he actually did today. Did he seem to understand what he was doing at that time? Yeah, Gail, he admitted that he was on medication. He says he doesn't remember much of the crime that was in 2008 because he was not on medication at that time. But today in court, he was responsive to questions. He had complete sentences. He really appeared to know what was going on. He did. All right, Jeff. Thank you.